Today, there's a new investigation of the Aurora Police Department, this time surrounding a mistake over the weekend that left a family, including children, in handcuffs. The district attorney says his office will decide if criminal charges should be filed. Here is Allie Levine with responses from Aurora's chief of police and Colorado state legislators. There's kids. This particular incident was just beyond appalling. State Representative Dominique Jackson was sitting on her Aurora patio when she first saw this video. And it still brings up some emotion for me. It shows Aurora police officers detaining a family Sunday after they mistook the family's van for a stolen vehicle. You can see four children face down on the ground. Two of them are in handcuffs. This is my city. And we all care a great deal about what happens in our city. Which is why the same day District Attorney George Brockler announced he will quote, obtain and review all evidence related to the incident, Jackson organized this statement with CO House Dems. To let our constituents know and um, to let um, our police department know. We're paying attention here. It reads in part, we expect policing in our communities to reflect our values. Far too often in Aurora, it has not. In their statement, CO House Dems say they are encouraged by the partnership with Aurora Chief of Police Vanessa Wilson. Helping her helps my community. In her own statement released today, Chief Wilson says she's aware of the DA's review. The chief says she welcomes it and has, quote, promised transparency to a community who not only demands it, but deserves it. Allie Levine. Nine News. The family from the incident on Sunday filed a formal complaint against Aurora Police. Chief Vanessa Wilson says she immediately ordered an internal affairs investigation into what happened last Sunday.